Hello everyone and welcome back to another Solid, SolidWorks video. In this video we're going to be going over how to use the configuration manager to create multiple versions of the same part. So let's just say, just for an example, you are creating a screw where you've got multiple diameters, multiple lengths for dozens and dozens and perhaps hundreds of different versions of the part. So instead of creating all those versions of the part, you can create one version of it and have SOLIDWORKS automatically generate the different uh, versions of the part on its own. So I'm going to start with a simple example. So I'm going to create a, a box shape with a hole going, going through the middle of it. So I've gone ahead and I've gone ahead and titled this one to be the width. I've titled this one to be the length. And then I've titled this circle in the middle to be the hole diameter. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the extrusion. And I'm going to extrude it to say to be um, five inches on the mid plane. And I hit OK. So now I've got my shape. Now I want to create uh, multiple configurations of this shape. So I'm going to come up to here. I'm going to scroll over to Insert, come down to Tables, and click on Design Table. And I'm going to leave all these defaults alone and hit OK. Just give it a minute to generate. All right, now you should see the dimensions that you want to add to this table. I'm going to add all of them. Hit OK. All right, so you should see this Excel uh, spreadsheet pop up. Now I can add in multiple iterations of it. So I'm going to go A, B, C, and D. And now I can just start giving it some new values. So let's just say 5, the length will be 7, hold down will be 1.5, and, and the extrusion will be 8. I'll do the same thing here, 6, 8, 2, 9, 7, 9, 3, 10, 8, 10, 4, oops and 11. All right, so now that I got that, I'll just close this. And now I've created uh, these multiple configurations. So I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to come up here to the feature tree uh, design, feature manager design tree. I'm going to scroll over until I see configuration manager. I'll click on that and you're going to see the multiple different uh, versions of, of, of this part. So if I double click on A, it's going to create version A. Double click on B, it'll create version B, uh, version C, and version D. If it will load. There we go. All right, and now if I want to edit it, I can just click this right here, edit table, and I can add more, add, add more, oops, hit OK. Add more configurations and more dimensions or change them how I want to be. So this will come in real, in real handy once we get to uh, um, creating uh, assemblies where we'll be, it, we'll be having to uh, import multiple versions of a part. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and like to see more content such as this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content such as this. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.